Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Apple has officially released iOS 26 today, and it's rolling out to millions of iPhones worldwide. Now, for most people, updating will go smoothly, but trust me, I've seen updates go wrong really fast. And that's why I always take these few simple steps before I update. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through six simple things you should do before installing iOS 26. Doing these will help you avoid problems and make sure your iPhone is ready for the update. So let's get right into it. First things first, will your iPhone even get iOS 26? Every time there's a major release, I get a ton of questions from people wondering why they can't see the update. Here's the breakdown. If your iPhone is already running iOS 18, there's a very good chance that you'll be able to update to iOS 26. Apple is supporting everything from the iPhone 11 and the second generation iPhone SE and onwards. The only models running iOS 18 that are not moving forward will be the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR. So if you're one of these, unfortunately, iOS 18 is your last stop. For everyone else, you're good to go. Also, alongside iOS 26, Apple also rolled out iOS 18.7. I'll dive into what that means later in the video, since it's relevant for anyone who is not ready to jump to iOS 26 right away. Tip number one, declutter your iPhone. We've all been there. You download an app, use it once, and then it just sits there taking up space. Or maybe you installed that one game that was really fun for about five minutes until the ads started popping up every 30 seconds. So this is a perfect time to go through all your apps and delete the ones you don't use anymore. Not only does that free up storage, but it also makes your iPhone run just a little bit smoother. And don't forget about your photos and videos. Do you really need 20 different takes of that same selfie or five different clips of the same fireworks show that all look exactly the same? Clearing out that kind of clutter now will make your iOS 26 update process faster and easier. The less your phone has to go through, the faster the update will be. All right, so moving on to tip number two, updating your apps. This is a really important step. Running older versions of apps on a brand new iOS release is one of the easiest ways to run into glitches, crashes, or just weird bugs. Even if you let your apps update automatically, I like to do a manual check before a big iOS update, just to be safe. And here's how. Open up the App Store, then tap on your profile icon here at the top right. Then scroll down and you'll see the apps with pending updates. From here, you can either update individual apps one by one by tapping update, or just tap update all to get everything at once. And here's a little trick, scroll all the way to the top and then pull down to refresh the page. Sometimes more apps will actually pop up needing updates. I like to do this check both before and after updating iOS, just to make sure everything is running on the latest version. Next up, back up your iPhone. This is probably the most important step of them all. After you've decluttered, this makes you ensure that everything you want to keep is safe in case something goes wrong. Imagine losing all your photos, notes, or even just having to set up everything from scratch. It's a big headache and you don't want to do that. That's why I always recommend having at least two backups. One in the cloud, just in case something goes wrong, and then one on a computer, Mac, or PC in case something really goes wrong and you lose your iCloud backup or you can't get back into your account. Apple has full support documents on how to backup with both methods. And honestly, the process is quick once you've done it once or twice. Now, here's a tip most people don't know. Even if you're out of iCloud storage, Apple will let you create a temporary iCloud backup for free. It's meant for when you're switching to a new iPhone, but it kind of works for this situation as well. And it just lets you have extra space for that backup before a big update. And here's how to do it. Go into settings, then go into general, and then scroll all the way down until you see transfer or reset iPhone. Here you'll see this section right here, prepare for new iPhone. Just tap on get started and follow the steps. This way you'll have a fresh backup in the cloud even if you don't pay for extra iCloud storage. Just keep in mind that this is a temporary backup. I think they let you keep it for about three weeks. Next up, make sure your iPhone is charging before you update. Technically, iOS lets you install an update as long as you have about 50% battery charge. But honestly, it's just not worth the risk. Updates take time, and if your phone dies halfway through, you could corrupt the software and end up stuck in recovery mode. And if you didn't back up your data first, that could mean losing everything on your iPhone. So play it safe, plug it into a charger before you start the update, and even better, leave it plugged in for the entire process. 
That way you don't have to worry about your battery dying at the worst possible time. Next up, make sure you're on a strong, reliable internet connection before you update. Yes, technically you can update over a weak and spotty connection, but it's risky and usually more frustrating than it is worth it. The download may stall, fail, or just take forever. Stick to a Wi-Fi at home or another stable network and avoid doing this while you're on the go. If you know that your Wi-Fi isn't the most reliable, wait until you're in a place where it is, or even plug it into your computer and update through Finder or iTunes. Finally, choose when to install the update. You don't want to start an update right before heading out the door. Updates take time and your iPhone is unusable while it's installing. A good rule of thumb is to run it overnight or when you know you won't need your iPhone for a while. Also keep in mind, major iOS releases almost always have a few bugs at launch. If your iPhone is critical for work or your daily life, it might be worth waiting a few days or even maybe into iOS 26.0.1 drops to avoid any early issues. And speaking of waiting, if you're not ready to make the big jump to iOS 26, or if your iPhone doesn't support it, there's also another option. Apple has also released iOS 18.7. It includes all the major security patches that iOS 26 has, so you can stay protected without upgrading to the brand new OS right away. Apple has been doing this over the last few years when the new major iOS updates come out, giving users peace of mind and still keeping their devices secure. That said, don't put off updating too long. Security updates are crucial, and iOS 18 will probably only have a couple more rounds of updates. If you want to hold off on updating to iOS 26, just make sure to turn off automatic updates and settings. And here's how. Go into settings, navigate to general, and here tap on software update. Now look for the automatic updates here at the top, tap on it, and turn off automatically install. And if you're ready to update to iOS 26, I'll show you exactly where to find it because sometimes people miss it because it's kind of hidden at the bottom. Once again, go into settings, then scroll down to general. Here, tap on software update. Just wait for it to check for updates and you'll see iOS 18.7 right on top. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see upgrade to iOS 26. Just tap on it and make sure you have enough space to install it. This one in particular says it will require at least 15.6 gigabytes of storage. And that's it. Six simple steps that I always take before updating to a brand new iOS. Most updates go smoothly, but taking a few extra minutes to prepare your iPhone can save you from a major headache if something goes wrong. And whether you're updating to iOS 26 right away or sticking with iOS 18.7 for now, the key is making sure your iPhone is backed up, updated, and ready to go. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more iPhone and Apple tips. And let me know in the comments, are you updating to iOS 26 right away or are you waiting it out? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.